welcome to our next episode of Florida in Motion. With this episode, we're going to be highlighting innovations within our industry and also the industry partnerships that it takes for all of us in the transportation industry to truly be successful. What better way to kick off this new episode of the Florida in Motion newscast than to be here at one of our very own hiring events, which is a great example of the industry partnerships that we have forged. This hiring event specifically is in Tallahassee. It's for our Panhandle and Big Bend region. Both of our FDOT districts, District 3 and District 2 are here in full force, along with our industry partners, with our road builders, contractors, with our consultants. Uh, we've had great attendance at this event and we really truly innovated in how we're doing workforce development. We're really focusing for the future on making workforce development a program and attracting people, new talent into our industry, regardless of what position you go into. Um, you can enter any role in this field in the transportation industry, and you can grow into a professional that has a six-figure salary and has one of the most fulfilling and rewarding jobs that you can possibly have. We have an important mission here at FDOT we're providing transportation for our communities here in Florida, and it truly is an exciting field. As part of highlighting innovation and in our industry partnerships, one of the key features that I'm going to highlight today, and you'll also hear from some of our industry experts and also some of our DOT employees about our new innovative effort called SWIFT. It stands for Safety Work Zone Innovations for Today and Tomorrow. This is a new, innovative, Shark Tank style effort that is going to enable us to get from concept to implementation almost immediately. Usually in the industry and in government, you have to follow so many processes. You have to go through so many layers of review and evaluation to really truly implement something in the field. So we've developed this Shark Tank style initiative where we bring innovators in, we bring startup companies, we bring entrepreneurs. They come and present their ideas to a committee of judges that evaluate those ideas in a competition style environment. And then we show them a path to get from concept to implementation. What better way to kick off this innovative idea than to focus it in on our top priority, which is safety and focus it in on the safety of our industry professionals who work in harm's way day in and day out. So we're gonna focus that safety initiative in on work zones. We held our first Shark Tank style event with this SWIFT initiative. As part of this episode, you're gonna hear from our chief engineer, Dan Hurtado, who helped facilitate our first SWIFT challenge. You're gonna hear from one of our participants at the SWIFT challenge and hear how the experience was for them. And you're also gonna hear from one of our industry consultant experts that participated in this SWIFT challenge event truly excited about this innovative concept. It is one of a kind, it's unique. It's the first of its kind in the nation. And we're really excited to bring this innovation and show how government and industry can work together to bring new ideas and new innovation to implementation faster than ever. The SWIFT Challenge is an opportunity for the department to bring together safety solution providers from a variety of sources. We're bringing in contractors, designers, department personnel, construction experts, technology providers, inventors, innovators, academics, all to come together to look for readily implementable solutions for work zone safety. I think this is a, an amazing event. I think it's revolutionary. I think it's a different way of bringing traffic safety. Oh, it's a great opportunity, uh, very, Lucky to be, because there's only six teams uh, selected for this inaugural event, so we're excited to see this, and I'm sure it's gonna grow into a, a very coveted position. I think the event's been amazing. I think that the technology presenters, you can see a theme kind of going along, which really makes me see that people are understanding how to employ technologies, and I'm glad I was able to add that piece. It's very fulfilling for what it is that we do as a company. We build technologies to change driver behavior, so we've incorporated using um, smartphones, game-based activities, um, incentivization. So we really changed the narrative to rewarding safe drivers instead of punishing poor drivers. So we were presenting on the, the ITERIS' clear guide data platform. So it's, it's a system, a dashboard that allows agencies and contractors to use a, 
a probe data network full of uh, private data sources, connected vehicle data, cell phone data, and allows you to represent uh, traffic uh, along a freeway or corridor or a construction project. Safety often is about getting people's attention and doing the SWIFT challenge in this format captures people's attention, it captures their imagination. It's exciting, it's a little fun, and it brings together a lot of diverse people in the same room, on the same topic, and allows not only for us to select a favorite provider, but it provides great opportunities for cross-pollination across providers. I thought it was more supportive than it was kind of, you know, controversial. And that to me was amazing. All the judges were great, the questions were good, the venue was great, so. I think it's better than Shark's Tank, actually. Yeah, I think it's super important. I, I mean, our philosophy is to build a community around safe driving. So I think not one group can work in a silo. You need to have this type of thing where there's collaboration, innovation. I mean, we could probably take all the presenters today, put them all together and come up with this really cool solution. So this is how we start is with events like this. So yeah, I think it's hugely valuable. Safety affects everyone. It affects the department. It affects our contractors. It affects the traveling public. It affects our engineers. This is a great example of how FDOT works hand in hand with industry, with our outside business partners, with external stakeholders within ourselves to come together and collaborate. None of us is as good as all of us. You know, each of these companies that are represented here today, we do all have the same goal. We want to protect people. We want to reduce injuries. We want to reduce collisions. We want to save people's lives. These are, these are shared and common goals. But conceptually, yeah, we're all part of the same team. We're all part of the same partnership. And if we can work together in tandem, even learn from one another to improve our own products, that's a good investment of our time. I'm really excited. Again, filtering out the presenters to make a difference. You can tell that they're really engaged with how to make a difference, which I think is awesome. And I think that uh, Florida taking a stand to change the world around traffic safety is a really big deal. Today was a great success. Uh, not only in the format and bringing people together, uh, but it was enjoyable, it was fun, it was exciting. You could see a lot of dynamic cross-pollination and people talking and sharing ideas. Yes, we selected a, a favorite to move forward with in our program, but it was a great opportunity for the other innovative providers to come and to share about their product and share their ideas and allow those opportunities for communication and cross-pollination. Today was a great success. What great perspectives to hear from everybody involved with this SWIFT challenge. As I mentioned earlier, it is truly a one of a kind, first in the nation. We're so excited. We really believe the spirit of competition and the speed with which we get to implementation is going to inspire so much more innovation across our industry. I wanna say thank you to all of the participants. We truly hope that all everyone who participated will come back for more and it will also inspire others to get involved and really truly get us to implementation we're going to be developing the implementation strategy for the successful competitor out of this last challenge can't wait to see that product implemented in our work zones and remember safety is our top priority we want everybody every single day to get back home to their families there's nothing more important than protecting the professionals who work in our industry and the team members that we love and care so much about. Thank you again, and I hope you've truly enjoyed this episode.